it's me, Michael Bach, your diversity dude. It is uh, 7 a.m. here in London, um, and uh, on the 2nd of uh, September, Sunday, and I am uh, sitting here at London Heathrow Airport. You can probably see a plane in the background here. Um, on my way back to Toronto, my last uh, last installment of my video blog here at the London Paralympics 2012. Ah, <clears throat> what to say on your last day. Um, Canada is in uh, 12th position from medal wins. Uh, 10th, tied for 10th. If you base it on total count, we have three gold, four silver, and one bronze. Um, and uh, including um, Michelle Stilwell, who I watched win uh, the women's 200 meter last night, which was awesome. Um, and I uh, thought I would provide some reflection on my experience here in London. Um, it's hard to reflect on, on four days of, of uh, the Paralympics. First off, I don't want to go home. Um, I'm, uh, I'm dying to see the rest of the events, to see our athletes compete to meet some of the athletes. I had the opportunity to meet some of the athletes, including the women's goalball team. And um, they're, they're just amazing people. They're humble, they're um, dedicated to their sport, they're dedicated to their country. They're thrilled to be recognized and to be here in London. Um, and you know, last night uh, we did, had a final dinner. The Canadian Paralympic Committee hosted us, and and we were kind of reflecting. And you know, people kept using the word movement to describe it. So the the Paralympic movement, and I think that really sums it up very well to say that this is um, this is a movement. Uh, this is an opportunity for um, the the disabled community people living with disabilities to um, not only live full lives, but also to become stars and um, to be recognized for the amazing talents that they have. Um, I have to admit, in coming to London, I didn't know what to anticipate. I didn't know what I would feel or experience. And I didn't, I think, give the, the kind of credence to um, the athletes that I think they deserve. And that's my fault for not fully understanding the power of what I was about to see. And I am, you know, as they described last night, I'm an ambassador. I am going to go forth and and um, really uh, carry the torch. God, how many how many uh, metaphors can there be? Um, but really, to, to be an ambassador for not only the the Canadian Paralympic athletes, but for the the entire Paralympic movement. That um, this is an amazing experience that people should see. You really should see this and experience it. Um, you know, when I was watching the men's wheelchair basketball, um, the game between Canada and Great Britain in the O2 Center with thousands of screaming fans, I was not watching disabled people play basketball. I was watching athletes. I have seen... Um, I have seen uh, pro basketball games, NBA pro basketball games that were not as um, um, exciting and, and energized and crazy, crazy good. And um, it was amazing. And I think everybody should experience that at least once in their life. Um, thank you to the Canadian Paralympic Committee who hosted me and made me feel more welcome than um, I think I've ever felt on a junket like this um, for um, doing what you do 
and uh, if you hadn't had the opportunity, go to Paralympics.ca and um, learn more about the Canadian Paralympic team. If you're not from Canada, then I encourage you to seek out the Paralympic uh, Committee in your country and learn more about it, get involved, donate. Um, if you have the potential of becoming a sponsor, do it. The benefits that you gain as a business are exceptional. With that, I'm going to sign off, uh, not only because I have a flight to catch, but also because I'm about to go on two weeks vacation. Uh, and I need it because I'm exhausted, because this was really intense. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, I will be back in a couple weeks with uh, back to my regular vlogging. And um, I, uh, I hope you pay attention to the rest of the games and keep following because there's some amazing performances going to happen in the next few days. And with that, I'll see you all on the other side. Peace out.